Hello guys, it's Gaming here and welcome back today. Today we have something new again. Uh, it's on the Xbox 360 as you can tell. Um, now, if you are wanting a good game to play and if you're into like, you know, 3D, not 3D. Anyway, I'll show you. It's a good game. It's similar to the game, what's it called? I forgot what the game is. What it's called. The one that really old what I used to play. Uh, but yeah, it's like that game. I'm going to be showing you the gameplay anyway. But all you want to do to download this is go into a store on the games tab. And then you want to go to arcade. And then you want to just search. That's probably the easiest way by the way. You could just do this by going to big on the Xbox dashboard, but, you know, in this way you just search through for games, I believe. But yeah, just put Dungeon Defenders in. And it should come at the bottom there. Just, just click that, that's the game I'm going to be showing you today. And I have bought it, uh, it's that first one there, with a full Xbox 360 controller on. And um, it's 9.99 uh, on the Xbox. So um, yeah, it's good. I'll uh, let you watch this. Dungeon Defenders is a four-player co-op tower defense action RPG that blends hack and slash elements from games like Diablo with tower defense elements from games like Dota or desktop tower defense. We took the loot gathering, character progression, item creation, and pet systems we loved in action RPGs and blended it with the strategy, teamwork, and tower placement we loved in tower defense games. We set out to create a game where you can do all of that in the third person. You can run around with your character and place and upgrade towers whose stats and effectiveness are influenced by how you've chosen to level your character and towers. In Dungeon Defenders, we have four very distinct classes. We have the Squire, which is our melee-oriented hero. His high HP physical defenses can block and push back enemies at choke points. There's the Apprentice, who's our ranged elemental hero, and his defenses can strip enemies of their immunities and shoot fireballs and magic missiles at them from afar. Our two other classes are the Huntress and the Monk, the Huntress, who can turn invisible and place traps behind enemy lines, and the Monk, whose auras and buffs can cripple enemies and boost your team. You can customize your heroes to specialize in building, fighting, or a hybrid of the two, and during combat you can dynamically switch between them to create a more diverse defense or offense. Dungeon Defenders revolves around two very distinct phases, the build phase and the combat phase. In the build phase, you work together with your teammates or using all of your different heroes to plan out your best defensive strategy to defend your Eternia Crystals. Then, in the combat phase, you actually run around with your character and fight firsthand to defend the Eternia Crystals while still managing all of your defenses by upgrading, repairing, selling, or building more if need be. The key thing in Dungeon Defenders is persistence. All of your characters are persistent can be leveled up to level 70. There's tons of loot to upgrade and trade online. There are pets to raise and take into battle. There's even different difficulty modes which can take your characters through to find better loot and more experience, and gameplay modes where you'll find special loot and even harder challenges. Dungeon Defenders is an action, RPG, tower defense, hack and slash, four player local and online co-op, cross platform multiplayer with GameSpy, looting, leveling, character customization, PlayStation Move support, 3D support, full Steam support, absolutely everything you can want in a downloadable title. So there you have it. That is the Dungeon Defenders. So if you do like third person games and this is uh, probably the best to go with because uh, you know uh, it's actually number one on Xbox 360 number one arcade game and that's how I uh, you know heard about this from my friend so um, yeah 
it should buy it, it's good. Uh, we'll play a bit now so you can actually see without the video. And uh, if that bored you a bit, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it is a good game. And if you are interested in buying it, now you know how, because I did it at the beginning. So, yeah. You know, it is multiplayer, as he said about that in the video. You can go on solo, I believe. So, uh, I went on this once and it drew me in. So, just got to click a device. Just turn this music down. All right. I'll try to get exit about the live game. That I've got level four and I'm clear. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be okay. Let's start this thing. No tutorial. Uh, we'll go for a quick match. Search for a game. No, it wouldn't take that long, but depends if people's already in games. There we go. Joining the game now. So this is a join screen. So this is my character. Uh, before we go into a game, okay. So. Yeah. Now, if you press B, you can like shout for help and all that. So yeah. If you need help on that, you just press B. If you're stuck. Etheria. All right, let's get into this. A deeper well. So these chests around the game, or the map if you like, that you open, and uh, that's that one. I'm sure there's pretty one down here. That, yeah, this is one here. You open, open, it gives you like RP at the bottom. If you see, I've got 1,507, and that gives you like stuff to build, traps. You know, like you said, it didn't. In the video again, it pretty much covered everything. This is uh, what you just like, you know, item box. So you'll see I've got another weapon which is not better than my weapon I'm holding now. That's why it's giving me the thumbs down. So, you know, that's some stuff you would like to know. I've actually got a bow, and uh, I believe, yep, yeah, we are using our. A weapons on ourselves to fight these off instead of you know an actual uh, building stuff outside of things so we're doing the combat side so this guy's 27 and he's got like this big like sword thing and he's just like gave a lot of stuff out so <laughs> I'm just picking it all up <laughs> Before it goes, but yeah. Now, okay, it just caps up. <laughs> this is my friend, by the way. I can, uh, you know, I've just joined a random game. Okay, so that guy was nice. Uh, if I look in the box now. I would have loads of stuff I've just picked up. And some are torn. So they won't let you use them. But, you know, you can still have a look. Or oh, do whatever with it. But it's okay. You can do stuff that you can't in other games. So. I'm gonna get this one because it says it's a lot better than my other gun. So all I do is press Y. Oh, it's not gonna do me, but 
yeah, all you would do is press Y. And this game's about to start, so... Oh, I just... What gun? Uh, this isn't a good gun. Oh no, is this a good gun? No, it's not the same one as the water. I have had to go like this before where it had to only had one ammo in it. And Yeah. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, let's go up take a closer look. These are the guys, you can pick the weapons up after you've killed them. But yeah. That guy only had a button, so there we go. Wave complete. Everyone's saying yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, she wonder why I'm a girl because I don't want to be that that guy <laughs> or that guy there. But even though they have like cool items, uh, it's still no, they've got no. <laughs> But yeah, let's see what we've got in here that right, we can actually use. Um, shiny flaming spinner. I think someone's in game chat because I keep hearing. So I can give him a hero that, but I can't give him these. I can give him that one as well. Okay, yes, I just said someone take it, so there's definitely someone in there. So, this isn't what you would normally not do, <laughs> you'd actually be fighting, but to fight, you know, you just go to these, and just press X to activate it, so, right, I've just, I'm clear, I've just activated it, these are our dispensers, so, yeah, it's pretty much a good game, so, you know, if you do want this game, just go on the Xbox, I think it's on the PS3 as well. And they said 3D, which is, you know, 3DS and all stuff like that, so I'm not sure myself, but I all know it's on Xbox and I didn't really check to my PS3. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and uh, I'll uh, have more gameplay if you want some more of this, maybe. But yeah, I'll see you guys later and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.